Welcome to Toronto, my hometown, and now a city that I'm so grateful to be studying in as I pursue my farm D. Look, I get that Toronto can get a bad rep, the traffic, the noise, the cost, but when you know where to look, the city has so much to offer. It's vibrant and fun, diverse and rich in its people, food, scenery, activities. It truly has something for everyone. I couldn't possibly cover all of my fave spots in one video, so instead, I'll walk you through my most recent weekend. Let's go. Starting off strong, we are in Queen West, which is my favorite neighborhood. I'm a little biased, I did grow up here in Parkdale, but seriously, this neighborhood rocks. The sun is shining, which means we start our day with a bike ride along the lakeshore, and we end up at Craig's for some post-cycle cookies. You can tell that I'm very happy to be eating this cookie. They are seriously so good, and Craig himself was here this day, so I got to chat with him, which is really nice. You can also buy a shot of milk to go with your cookie, or cookies, I wouldn't blame you. For lunch, which is after dessert today, but that's okay, I ended up at Sunnyside Provisions, which is a sweet little shop on Roncesvalles. Their fish and chips is $9, which I think is such a steal. If you're looking for a gift for a foodie or even for yourself, this is the place to go. Near the park where we had our lunch, we found this little lemonade stand. And of course I had to stop. Come on people, support local. The next day I ventured out a little bit closer to campus to the one and only Kensington Market. In my opinion, this place totally lives up to its hype. It's got so many cute shops, great food selections, and the last Sunday of every month is pedestrian only, so definitely check that out. Because I'm clearly a fish lover, which I didn't realize until I filmed this video, uh, lunch was again some fish, <laughs> but Kensington Market seriously has the best fish tacos. If you're vegetarian or you don't like seafood, they have lots of other options and all are equally as good. I mean, come on, look at this thing. It's delicious. Toronto is filled with small communities, each offering their own unique vibe and experience. If you're wondering if you should accept that U of T offer and move to Toronto, let this be your sign to do it. I promise that you'll find so many things and people to love here. Thanks for listening and comment below. What's your favorite spot in Toronto? Bye.